Hello there, this is Ben Fournier, Benevolence at Aquarium, and here's the week 45 challenge. It's um, space points, so it's uh, Paras Barad Astra, that thing basically, but with more text as the only positive of start on the planes, which probably is, you know, negative comfort due to the radiation or exposure or whatever, and bad R&D, one less project, so more research centers required. Here we go. Okay, yep, per, uh, spare at Astra through difficulties to the stars. So here's the description that's the same on every one of those type. And uh, okay, we have the choice of balance, which has a greenhouse and a habitation. This only has a habitation. And this has habitation, CO2 factory, oxygen factory, and import oceans. Now that actually would be useful, sort of, except we're not going to start with that much tritium. So, this one would at least allow for more food faster. Okay, and here's the leaders. So we have Thomas Foster or Robots Dude. So, let's see. Advanced machine learning, so in science for every robot type thing. Uh, more power is always a good thing versus silicates boost. I don't know. Let's see here. Do we need anything cleared out or an output? Oh wait, that wouldn't be a thing for um... Huh. Well, okay. Mine resources and supply station versus power and innovate. Yeah, I don't like his shoes, but eh, who cares. That one's better for having more, s more power to scan with anyway. So, placing a headquarters here. Now this would be adjacency support area, so... And this would be the other one here. So those would be good places for farms, or something to be farmed anyway. Or this could be as well. So this, or this. And this would be the place for a support thing. Maybe here. I mean, why not? And then this could be a farming location. If we do that, it should be one or the other. So this would have to be housing and an entertainment center, and entertainment center maybe, and housing there. So this would be better as a farm thing here, farm there, okay. Then like a soil factory or a GMO lab there. And we can't do that because we're just one shy of food now, but we get more than food per turn, at least from the start. So that's always a nice thing. And yay, negative support per turn because of living in this place. Yeah, it's nice. Oh well, that's how this goes. So, oh yeah, and we should do... Yeah, let's see here. Water? See if we can get the water thing. Of course we can't because we need like robots or something. This one would help with the robots at least. So, a power source that we don't have the tritium for or a thing we don't have the water for. But, we have the food to make this anyway. So now we have a spot to conquer with that and get the mine and now we have water going. And we could do that if I really wanted to I guess and energy savings... I don't know. Let's scan here. Okay, but right. yeah. So another mine we could do later. Here's the next turn. Gonna do ten turns per uh, play thing here. The uh, what is it? Oh, per um, video. Ten turns per video is the one I'm going to try for. Although sometimes I forget. And I'm sorry to have extra time wasted there. It's just difficult for me to keep track of everything sometimes. Yeah, that's going to be a while. Yeah. Not a bunch of good choices here. I mean, ah, for now I can use that to get more power. But let's see, we'd need... Hmm. I am not sure. This requires nitrates and silicates, so eh, let's import that, I guess. Since we don't have the silicates at the moment. 
Okay, well, this is interesting. Household Robot Dispatch Center. That sounds like it needs to belong on, M you know, Mystery Science Theater 3000. Uh, two support per turn for every robot in the city. Not going to be doing that right away. Okay, and let's get, I don't know, this one scanned. It's the closer one, so there's a good place for, uh, you know, launch pad or, launch or something else like that. Ah, good, more food. Yay, always nice not to starve. Okay, so we still don't have much of anything. Yeah, let's see. Science sooner would be a good thing, sort of. Already used that up, okay. Yay, a satellite of doom. And robots. Yay, robots. Okay, so... Something like that, and let's see about getting titanium at least, if we could. <sighs> On the next turn we can get a mine, but, or maybe this turn. Well, let's get the tritium anyway. That would enable us to get the thermo generator sooner, even though it's a pain for having, um, what is it, oh, nitrates thing. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Oh, did I want something here? I mean, this would be good for... Oh, yeah, let's see here. Do this before I forget. And, yeah, I guess of the ones close by, let's get that for when we have the option of building a launch pad or a spaceport. Yay, negative two. I love that so much. Not really. Get more power. More power. Okay, well, at least we have an input there. Need more input. More input, Stephanie. Reference to... Oh, joy. I hate how that goes. Ah. Let's get more power. Oh, we have that option. Oh, do we still have this to do? Yes, okay. So that's a good thing if I were to build that many power stations. And this one sort of is interesting if I want to waste food. So yeah, no. Okay. And let's see here. We have... When you found a new city, it starts with one expansion. I always forget to do this right when it's needed, though. Uh, let's see, what was that here? Um, for every three permit project proposals you do, increase the amount of projects by one. Yeah, let's see. Five science, raise the maximum amount of buildings the city can have by population, and it cannot be more than 15. Eh, maybe. Nanotube, water filters, so oh. gain one water per ocean level. Not going to really bother with the ocean. I need to start getting more stuff in space, though. Advanced land clearance, so destroying that costs two less power. And new location upgrades that provide support. Yeah, this one. Okay. And a road paver thing or university. Eh, don't really have much for either. This would help with getting things dealt with faster, though. Okay, what do we need here for getting the science thing? Maybe. Let's see, we're lowest on... Uh, let's get this one. Yay. Now we can get that science lab thing. And finally have an input on that. And if I do get the tritium thing, I'm going to put it over here. So the science lab could go here maybe. Something like that. Okay, so now at least we have an input on the science. Yay. Okay. And, yeah, uh, let's scan this and increase the support a little bit anyway. And now it's turn 10, the last turn for Mr. Glasses McDude. Okay, so we need to get more food somewhere. Sometimes the things with smiley faces have the food of doom. Oh, yay, a volcano to go boom. Cool. Well, we could have a nitrates input, maybe, but we only have 10, yeah. If I do that, we'd have options to build, though, and that costs 25 to restart that if I really wanted to. Yeah, 
I want to get the food first. Uh, let's see here. This is the last turn. I don't know. This would also be good. If I do this now, it just pretty much takes up all the titanium that I could use for something else. Uh, and I could get the nitrates thing with that with only spending three titanium once we have the food though. So I don't want to do that necessarily. Yeah, we have no silicates though. That sort of sucks. Uh, anyway, ending turn. I'll figure it out later. So, replacing him with either Jorge Dromedo, which I nickname Bob the Builder sometimes, or Beatrix Barbier, uh, who has the treatment center thing, and the Pierre Barbier building, and the miners union. Now this is actually a good thing. But uh, here, this guy has the uh, rural constructions, cost 15% less resources there. Modular apartments I don't really care for, but this is useful if we have like a lava tube while we're like actually there. So I'm going to go with Hori Dermato because he's actually useful for that at least. And neither of these are really useful right now. I mean, yeah, let's have another thing for Mark Quatney eventually. Anyway, it's now turn 11. Going to stop this uh, one. See you in the next one if you show up. Take care and try not to go crazy.